The Sega Master System was launched in North America in 1986, and with it came a ton of video games for different genres. One of the weaker genres on the system is the RPG, and that's why today I've compiled a list of all the role-playing games that are on the Master System. Now, because the Master System doesn't have a ton of traditional RPGs, I've taken some liberties to include a few titles. Here's what I'm considering as an RPG for this list. The character has the ability to level up, earn experience or money by defeating enemies, to purchase skills or equipment, or new weapons. And of course, defeat enemies in dungeons, mazes, and levels, whether they are overhead or side-scrolling. RPGs are extremely popular and there are a few of them on the Master System, but if I have missed any, be sure to let me know if you think a game should be included on this list. But before we get into this list, if this is your first time on my channel or if you just haven't yet, make sure you hit that sub button to watch plenty of Master System content from countdowns and retrospectives. Dust off that armor, steal from that NPC, and sharpen your blade as we're going on an adventure with Sega Master System RPGs. Golden Axe Warrior In ancient times, a horde of giants rebelled against the elders and a brutal war ensued. Things looked grave until finally a hero carrying the Golden Axe appeared and drove back the giants. Since then, the Kingdom of Firewood has been ruled by a family that has mastered the power of the Nine Crystals to ward off all evil from Firewood. Everyone lived in peace until one of Firewood's ministers betrayed his king and sold the Nine Crystals to Death Adder, one of the evil giants. Death Adder has hidden the Nine Crystals in Nine Dungeons and has unleashed hordes of monsters and is threatening to take over the world. Gameplay in Golden Axe Warrior is very similar to The Legend of Zelda, meaning you will spend most of your time exploring the large overworld, fighting against lots of enemies, and looking for the dungeons in which the crystals are hidden. Inside the dungeons, you have to fight more enemies, find treasures and keys, and solve simple puzzles and defeat the dungeon's boss to get one of the crystals. In order to survive against a large number of enemies, you will be able to find many different weapons and three different spells. Ultima 4 Quest of Avatar Lord British, the wise and compassionate ruler of Britannia, wishes to erase the legacy left behind by the three evil lords. To do so, he must find an avatar. An avatar is one who has achieved enlightenment in the eight virtues of honor, valor, sacrifice, compassion, justice, spirituality, honesty, and humility. Only the most virtuous of souls can complete the perilous journey that lies ahead. The game frowns on behavior typical of most other RPGs, such as backstabbing, fleeing enemies, or picking up everything that isn't nailed down, even if it doesn't belong to the protagonist. This different approach established the game's reputation as the first true Ultima, influencing the design philosophy of later installments and the overall spirit of the series. Danon the Jungle Fighter Long ago, in the distant land of Moralos, in a time when vast jungles still covered the earth, an evil presence emerged from its tomb beneath the ground. His name was Gelbis, and he was about to destroy everyone that lived on the land. Aganon, a great warrior, was summoned to save the troubled land and put an end to Gelbis by sealing him in the tomb from where he came. The game features a ton of different mechanics and combines many different genres including RPG elements like talking to NPCs to uncover the plot, summoning animals, and leveling up. Spellcaster 
Spellcaster is an action adventure game where you play as Kane, who has been summoned to check on a group of warriors that were sent to guard a temple. The game takes place in two adventure formats, action and adventure scenes. In the action scenes, you take on a horde of enemies as you make your way toward the temple, being careful not to use up all of your strength. The adventure scenes allow you to select a series of commands that allow you to travel to new locations, talk to characters, look at various objects, take items, and use existing ones. Golvelius. In this game, you play Kalesis, a warrior who is sent to seek out Golvelius and rescue the beautiful Princess Rena. But in order to find him, you must defeat seven of his fiercest demons that were sent to stop you. These demons are found in caves throughout the valley floor, but in order to access these caves, you need to defeat some of the wild beasts that are scattered throughout the valley. When you kill these beasts, you'll receive some gold. Some caves will appear when certain objects are struck with your sword. And in some caves, you will find fairies, sorceresses, and wise women who will help you in many ways, whether that be increasing your gold, giving you life potions, or restoring your energy. Wonder Boy in Monster Land Wonderland was quiet and peaceful until the terrible Mecha Dragon took over with his army of evil monsters. Now it's called Monsterland and its people are suffering. Only one person is brave enough to face the evil. That's you, the one that they call Wonder Boy. You'll start with nothing more than bare feet and a short sword. Some people will help you if you knock on the right doors. Fight hard and you'll win gold that you can use to buy armor, weapons, and magic. Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap This is the direct sequel to Wonder Boy in Monster Land, but unlike its predecessor, this side-scrolling platform game is not divided into sequences of levels. The protagonist is allowed to go anywhere as long as he has the right shape or equipment. Each time you defeat a dragon, you will earn a new shape with new abilities such as flying, swimming, walking on ceilings, or clinging to walls. These abilities will allow the player to access new parts of the world. You'll also have stats in this game, such as attack power, defense points, and charm points, which are needed for equipment by collecting charm stones. You'll also be able to purchase new equipment at stores and earn extra health points. Wonder Boy in Monster World Wonder Boy in Monster World is the third game in the Monster World spin-off series. It puts the player in control of Xion in his quest to save Monster World from the evil hands of Biomecha. It controls like a standard platform game where you can run, jump, and kill enemies, but the game does have light RPG elements such as talking to townsfolk, collecting money to buy items, upgrading your life, and equipping a variety of armor and weapons. Lord of the Sword. The player is in the role of Landau, a man who must pass three tests in order to gain the crown of the land, which for years has been rife with lawlessness and fear. Once you get the crown, you'll be able to restore peace to the land. Now to pass these three tests, Landau must find the Tree of Merrill, subdue the Goblin of Bala Valley, and destroy the Statue of Evil. Landau is controlled in a third-person side-scrolling view, and he can explore the world map freely in a non-linear way, but some portions of the map will be available only after defeating certain enemies or getting certain items. Within this kingdom are towns and villages where Landau can stop to rest, restoring his health, and gather information from people. Along his way, he'll find new and stronger swords and bows. Fantasy Star 
Fantasy Star is commonly considered one of the progenerators of Japanese style role playing games. It has distinct anime style visual aesthetics and contains many characteristic gameplay elements of the genre. Rather than being cast as an adventurer or a warrior on an impersonal quest, the player controls a character with her own background, story, motivations, and desires. The game introduces the genre's typical template of specific non-player characters joining the party for plot-related reasons. The game is also notable for being one of the first RPGs with a predetermined female protagonist. It is set in a sci-fi environment in which advanced technology and magic coexist. Now I have covered Fantasy Star plenty on my channel, and this is one of the greatest JRPGs that you can experience in its home on the Master System. Dragon Crystal Dragon Crystal is a dungeon crawler with RPG elements. Without relying on a story, the game throws you into a randomly generated world which you should explore carefully and most importantly, where you need to survive. The complex maze-like levels reveal their structure only after you cover the corresponding map areas. Your goal in each level is to reach a teleporter which will take you to the next one. There are also a lot of random items scattered around like weapons, armor, money, and food. Money allows you to continue the game if you die, and food prevents you from starving. The enemies are visible on screen and you fight them in real-time combat, moving around and pressing the directional arrows to strike with the equipped weapon. You are always accompanied by an egg which will eventually grow up to be a dragon if you have leveled up enough. Zillion. Zillion is an adventure platformer with an emphasis on exploration and problem solving rather than a fast paced jump and run gameplay. The game is set almost entirely in an underground base. Capsules containing key codes and power ups are scattered around the vast environments. Common obstacles include enemy guards, trip wires, laser turrets, and force fields. Rooms must be unlocked by using computer ID cards and inputting the correct four digit code. Specific actions, such as turning off barriers, deactivating traps, are all sometimes required. Upgrades for health, speed, jumping ability, and gun power can be found along with rescuing characters to join in your party. Ease the Vanished Omens once long ago, the Kingdom of Ease fell under a reign of evil, but the goddesses of Ease saved the kingdom from ruin. Their feats were written in six magical books and hidden until the time the goddesses would be needed again. A thousand years later, that time has come. You are Aaron, a wanderer. An evil sorcerer named Dark Deck is planning diabolical magic, and the seer Sarah is desperately looking for a swordman to help her find the vanished six books of ease. Now arm yourself and prepare for an adventure into the unknown, where caverns and towers are filled with creatures and hordes of treasure, where the strangest people have clues to tell you, where your skill in combat depends on your reflexes. If you succeed, you'll have the power to call down the goddesses. Fail and Dark Deck will rule the kingdom under a reign of terror. Miracle Warriors Seal of the Dark Lord Fate calls thee to bar evil's way. The Dark Lord Tiraren has removed the Golden Seal from the Pandora Passage to let monstrous creatures roam the Five Lands. An ancient prophecy foretells of four brave warriors destined to battle Tiraren and return the seal to its rightful place. Art thou the one fated to lead the Miracle Warriors? Douse noble blood flow in thy veins? Man, I hate that they wrote the marketing material in Old English. 
Anyway, you must venture through five lands. You will find villages, towns, and castles in your travels in these lands. In each, you will find or be able to buy weapons and armor, medicine, and clues. You will also find caves, dungeons, and monuments that are also scattered about. Some you may enter unhindered. Others will be locked until you find the right person or learn the right spell. So those are the RPGs on the Sega Master System. Which one of these have you played or which one do you want to play now? For me, I love Fantasy Star, Zillion, and Wonder Boy 3. Those are some of my favorite Sega Master System games of all time. Now like I said, not all of these games are traditional RPGs, but all of them have RPG elements, which is why I included them on this list. Drop me a comment below on some of your favorite RPGs, and while you're there, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel to watch plenty of Sega Master System content. Thanks for watching.